So, you want to know how to make a hover that doesn't suck. Hovers are a great and versatile movement type in Robocraft, and one that I personally quite find fun to play. However, building a hover is not always as straightforward and simple as one would like it to be. So today, I'm making a little walkthrough tutorial of how I build hovers to play in Tier 5. Start by placing 5 blocks. One, two, three, four, five. And grab the Electo Shield and place two of them just like that. Then go ahead and fill in all the bottom blocks right up to the end of the shield. Go ahead and grab the inner slope. You can place one of those on each end and just use the edge block to fill in the rest of this. Go ahead and fill in the rest of the cubes out to the edge of the post. You can also place a little prism right here next to the inner slope on both ends. And now you should have something that looks like this. Oops. Like this. I'm going to be using the tier 5 hovers. These are not the most popular, but I certainly like them because they have nearly 5 times as much health as the next hover, and they also carry a lot of mass. If you've watched my last video, you will no doubt know why I am doing this. It's called rod forcing, and here this reinforces the mount points of large components. It adds additional connection points to other parts of the robot. You'll notice that one of these connection points is not being used, it's going right up against a post, but that's okay. Here I am connecting one of the mount points of the hover directly onto the electroplate. Those electroplates are useful in part because of their health, but mostly because of their extra connection points. This is a really good solid anchor point and it helps hold the whole robot together. Think of it like a giant rod that rod forces the entire length of the robot. Connect this mounting point directly on to the electroplate, and you can do that on both ends. We can also take one of the rod plus and we can put it right here to connect to that central mounting point. We'll do that on both of these. You'll note that this very nicely slides in between the two posts, but it dead ends here. You can fix that just taking one of these edge slopes. Boom. Now this is a valid point. These last two over here, I am not going to rod force them, I'm simply going to let them stand on the frame. So if I have an entire another layer of cubes on top of what we just built, do this right here so that these cubes do not connect to this. You want this to be a separate connection from the rest of the robot frame, exclusively connected to the electroplate, not to the rest of the robot, and do that here as well. After exercising your creative freedoms, you can come up with your own chassis design. This is the one that I designed, which I sized it to fit the weapons that I want to use. Before I add my weapons, hovers have a tendency to lose control and flip over when they are going over rough terrain or when you've taken damage. There's one thing you can do which will massively mitigate the severity of that issue, rudders. When your robot is starting to tilt over, it will try to put the robot right side up, and it's very good at doing that. So just add one vertical rudder. It can be right side up, or, as I prefer, you can put them upside down. You are free to pick your own weapons, but the ones I have chosen for today, the Tier 4 Shotguns, as well as the Tier 5 Aeroflak. I think this will be a good balance between close range DPS as well as long range anti-air. But one more thing before we get there, rod forcing. Lots and lots of rod forcing. For this one, I'm going to use the Strut Plus, which has almost 20,000 health, and connect that directly onto the side. I will not be doing any rod forcing on the Aeroflak. The Aeroflak is such a large weapon, it's like it's already been rod forced. Just make sure all five connection points are mounted. Now that you have this beautiful machine, Hold that. There we go. A paint job need not be anything fancy, but I think you'll agree that just a little bit goes a long ways. Now it's time to test out our robot. I want to show you the advantage of the rudder. Oh, oh, and we end up right side up.
Now you can climb things that hovers usually can't climb. And all the way to the ground, it's nice and stable. Here is a hover that doesn't suck. I hope you enjoyed this little walkthrough tutorial, and I look forward to seeing you in combat.